Hi there, I'm your English coach Christina and welcome to Speak English with Christina where you'll learn about American culture and business know-how to become confident in English. We've talked about the notorious P word in previous episodes. That P word of course is plateau. If you've hit the plateau, you would know. The symptoms include feeling like you're no longer making progress no matter how hard you study, difficulty remembering new words, feeling like you can't express yourself as well as you should. The good news, this challenging period is temporary and one simple way to push through it is to expand your vocabulary. In this episode, we'll discuss some tips to learn more words faster and start seeing your language proficiency in English accelerate. The lesson is particularly useful for intermediate English learners ready to move to an advanced level. Let's go. One reason that we experience the language learning plateau is because when we're in the beginner stages of learning a language, our learning is rapid. It's easy to mark how much we're learning in large part because everything is new. However, once you reach the intermediate stage, it can be difficult to notice your progress, especially as you transition from early intermediate to advanced intermediate and then finally to the advanced level. Vocabulary is a key component to moving from beginner to intermediate and advanced levels of language proficiency. Sometimes when students reach a certain level in English, they can communicate with other English speakers. They might use simple vocabulary words to, to get by. And this is understandable. I mean, after all, if you can express yourself and feel understood, then you may not make much effort to expand your vocabulary beyond the core of words that you already know and that works. However, to see progress in your language learning, it's important to expand your vocabulary as well as include more colloquial words, idioms, and phrases in your English repertoire. The plateau is actually an exciting time because now you can develop a new strategy to get more proficient in English based on your personal interests and needs. For example, you might consider focusing on learning new vocabulary words that are specific to your job, your industry, or your studies. Let's chug, chug, chug through that plateau to our next peak of achievement with these five tips. It's easier to recall a list of words that are grouped or organized in a meaningful way. Create a list of words to study that are focused on a particular subject and you're more likely to remember them. For example, if you love music, you might focus your attention on creating a vocabulary list with music as the theme. You might learn the names of musical instruments, musical terms, and so on. As you learn these new vocabulary words, you can draw linkages between the words which help you to remember those words easier. Do you feel like you learn a new word only to forget it the next day? The key to remembering new words is repetition. The more frequently you encounter a word, the more likely you will remember it. Did you know that you're already a master language learner? When you were a child, you learned your native language through lots of listening and repetition. As you picked up new words, repeat them several times throughout the day, just as a child would. Adapting the language learning techniques we used as children can help us tremendously as adults, even if adults and children do learn differently. Another way to bulk up your vocabulary is to recognize how modifiers or affixes 
change the meaning of root words. Understanding affixes can help you interpret the meaning of hundreds of words that you may not know. And the first affix I'd like to talk about are prefixes. Prefixes are letters used at the beginning of a word to change its meaning. For example, a common prefix in English is re. And when re is used, it means again or back. Rethink, redo, and repay. Each word has re at the beginning. Another prefix is un. Un can mean not, remove, or opposite. Adding un to the word rest gives you the word unrest, which means not restful or chaos. Similarly, suffixes can help you determine a word you don't know and help you accelerate your vocabulary learning. A suffix is a letter or group of letters added to the end of the word. For example, ER. At the end of a word often suggests a comparison. We find ER at the end of adjectives and adverbs. ER suffixes are good at making a comparison because they compare two things and show that one is more than the other, such as faster or stronger. This sounds fancy, but it's a simple idea. A collocation is when two words or more are often seen together. For example, blonde hair is a collocation. In English, we use the word blonde. It's most likely an adjective used to describe hair. We wouldn't say a blonde car or a blonde house. Here's another example. The word heavy, it has many different meanings depending on the word it's associated with. You can have heavy rain, a heavy meal, heavy traffic, a heavy smoker. And in each instance, the word heavy changes its meaning. Memorizing common collocations will make a noticeable difference in your level of proficiency. By noticing the subtleties of English, you'll sound more fluent using these words in the right context, avoiding some of the most common mistakes that less experienced English learners make. It's worth noting that according to research, 3,000 words is a good target to achieve lower intermediate level. One of the big reasons why intermediate learners hit that plateau is because they no longer actively expand their vocabulary knowledge. By expanding your knowledge according to your interests and needs, recognizing prefixes and suffixes that modify words, repetition of words, and memorizing collocations, you'll be well on your way to pushing through the plateau and reaching an advanced level in your English studies. Now, what about you? Do you have any tips on how to learn vocabulary words or ways that you've elevated your level? Share them in the comments below. And if you would like to become more fluent, more confident, and work with one of my expert teachers, check out my new program, Speak English Confidently. It combines private training sessions with regular conversation practice so that you speak more correct English, more fluidly. Details are below the video. All right, thanks so much for improving your English with me, and I'll see you next time.